So this is gonna wrap up the last in the myth busting series, what you actually do not need to grow, build, and scale your six figure and beyond spiritual business online. And that is So this is going to wrap up the last in the myth busting series, what you actually do not need to grow, build and scale your six figure and beyond spiritual business online. And that is you do not actually need to feel ready. And I see this all the time where spiritual entrepreneurs specifically, when you're already very intuitive and you're very tapped into your feelings and emotions, Sometimes your ego gets a hold of that and plays that up to such a degree where you constantly talk yourself in and out of being ready. And so you really have to recognize when you're coming from the mental body, telling yourself that you're not ready, or when you're actually just not in alignment yet. There's a difference. Oftentimes when you're talking to yourself or you're trapped in your mental thoughts and your mental body, you're coming up with all of the reasons why it's okay to wait or procrastinate or stall or things just feel off or this or that. But a lot of times that is just overcompensating because the thing that you want to do and that you're feeling called to do actually scares you. And so you have to really be honest with yourself because it's really easy to start to you know, talk yourself in and out of being ready, especially if you go back and forth with, you know, tapping into how you feel about something. And this is something that I see spiritual entrepreneurs get caught up in all the time because they're already empathic, they're already intuitive, they're already, you know, really tuned in and tapped into their feeling body, but they also have an ego. Your ego still exists and your ego is still scared as shit to take the next step and to take that leap of faith and move yourself forward. And so the ego is very sneaky at the stories that you will, you know, with the stories that you tell yourself. And so you have to be able to discern the difference between actually being not in alignment and having something just simply not be the right time because there's a time and a place for that. Like you can download an idea of something and it just might not be something that you need to move on right away. Although I'm a big fan for success, love, speed, and I take action on my intuitive guidance um, immediately. Uh, so but there is this uh you know this tendency to wait for the situations and the circumstances to be perfect and this is where the child archetype really flares up the one that always needs permission the one that always needs circumstances to be perfect the one that's always waiting for the right time or waiting on somebody else or waiting on for a situation to change or waiting on you know whatever it may be, Mercury retrograde ending, the new year starting, you know, a full moon, like whatever the case may be. I, I hear a lot of this and it can be alignment if that's when it feels right to act, but you have to be able to recognize when you're stuck in your mental body telling stories to yourself that really just are a fancy sneaky way for you to procrastinate and sabotage what it is you're going towards because you're still waiting for permission. And when I say waiting for permission, that can be a particular person that you're waiting to give you the okay or to let you know the situation's uh, conducive for you to get going with the project or something like that. Or it could just be waiting for permission for your circumstances to be perfectly aligned and ideal. And I'm here to tell you, you actually don't need to feel ready. In fact, I would say you probably won't feel ready. I mean, that's part of it. You don't need to feel ready. You will feel scared a lot of times and you will feel um, that 
exhilaration. And so if you can sense that there is an exhilaration behind what it is that you want to do, but yet there's like this fear that's pulling you back, this is a clear red flag that the stories that you're telling yourself about procrastinating or push, you know, uh, not taking action and things like that, sitting around waiting for permission is a form of sabotage. Because if you feel a, this exhilaration behind what it is that you want to do, but yet then you fall a step backwards because of the fear, then this just means you need to, you know, put your big girl panties on and take the next step, not come up with a million reasons why the situations or circumstances or environment or people or, or whatever are not yet conducive for the perfect time. Because I can tell you there is no perfect time. You won't feel ready. It's okay to be scared. You have to take the action and get out of your comfort zone sooner than later because what you're doing is you're really just... Um, continuing that it's always going to it's you're not going to be able to get out of your fear until you take action to get out of your fear and so the more that you just take the action the less the fear is going to be able to hold you hostage and your intuition doesn't act on logic your intuition doesn't act on you know your fancy dancy rationalizations that you cook up your intuition acts at times when it is inconvenient um, when you don't want to take action sometimes from the personality standpoint, when um, it, it scares you, uh, it's going to get you out of your comfort zone because your intuition is guided by your soul and your soul is about expansion and growth. So by nature, if you follow your intuition and you follow uh, what it is that you're being guided to do, you're not only going to be expanding yourself and expanding into the next level of yourself and the next version of yourself, but you're going to be dancing that fine line of your comfort zone for the rest of your life. So you just have to make the decision. Are you here to grow and expand beyond anything you've ever thought possible for yourself? Or are you here to play, you know, it's safe and stick within your comfort bubble and never really know what it is that you could be, do, or have, or expand into? You have to make that decision every single day. And every single day that you do make that decision to follow your intuition and your guidance system, you will be challenged to get out of your comfort zone and the stories will kick up and the rationalizations will kick up and the justifications will kick up and the child archetype that's waiting for everything else to fall into place, like it's gonna be perfect, is gonna kick up. So you have to recognize the story that you're telling yourself. You actually do not have to feel ready to do what it is you're feeling called to do and follow the guidance that is leading you forward. You just have to take action. You have to be willing to take action. You don't have to be ready to take action. You just got to do it. At some point, you just have to do it. So I hope this video finds you well. If you like this video and you want to hop on my Soul Align Success Masterclass, you can find that also below this video, wherever you happen to be watching it. And on that masterclass, you're going to learn a little bit more about me, who I serve, what I do, what I'm all about. And if that really resonates with you and you're looking to grow or scale your six figure and beyond soul business online, you're going to get an invitation to hop on a 60 minute strategy session with me um, where I help you map out your own blueprint so that you can start living the freedom based lifestyle that you're craving while making a massive impact in the world, helping as many people as possible. So if that resonates with you, I would love to hear from you. I'd love to see you on the masterclass and I'd love to have uh, you book a call with me. So hopefully this finds you well and I look forward to tuning in with you on another episode very soon. Namaste.